Hello guys, welcome back. This is Dr. Andit, your pathology educator and academy. So we are in the discussion of NEET PG 2021 pathology questions and we are in the third question. As I used to say that, oh, there will be 22 questions and each is a single individual video in this playlist and you can watch whatever questions you feel you are uncomfortable with. Fine. So we will go back to the questions straight away. The question is a simple one, right? All of the following are increased in case of an iron deficiency anemia, etc. So this question is nothing but something based on iron profile, which we have read day in and day out. We have, we have completely dissected iron profile in many, many discussion videos in our classes, right? So it's a simple thing on iron profile. Maybe for some of us, these two might have been a bit new, right? So I'll say, I'll look at the question, I'll discuss the question in two ways. One, we'll understand those two as well, the second part. The first part, we'll ignore those two. I don't know that. Like my knowledge about that will be zero. We'll see with the other options. It's a case of iron deficiency anemia. One common thing is, in every case of iron deficiency anemia, am I right in saying that serum iron levels will be less? That is perfect, right? When my iron levels are less, my transfer is there. My transfer is going to bind to iron. That's a function, right? When serum iron is less, do you think transferrin will bind to more iron? No, there's no serum iron, right? So the amount of binding the transferrin will be reduced or elevated? Will be reduced. So will transferrin be saturated? Definitely no. So am I right in saying that I don't even want anything else? Transferrin saturation will be less or more. It will be reduced. That's enough for me. It will not be increased. So that's the answer. I don't even want to know the other two. We'll come to the other two for sure, right? So the answer is transferrin saturation. Transferrin saturation will be reduced in case of an iron deficiency anemia. We'll go to the other options, TIBC. TIBC is total iron binding capacity. I always used to say that, remember TIBC has an affinity to iron. Okay, it's an affinity to iron, that's all. So when I have, when let's give, give an analogy, right? You, you are a person whom I'm not fed for the past two days and you're given food. What will you do? You'll grab the food and eat, right? Same way my body is starving of iron. I doesn't have iron at all. I'm not getting enough iron from store. Even if iron from food, ferritin is all gone. Right? The patient is completely deficient of iron and transfer is waiting for iron molecules. Do you think the affinity of binding with iron will be elevated or reduced? Will be elevated, right? So TIBC is nothing but the affinity of iron binding. It has to be elevated. Affinity will be more whenever my availability is less. That's simple logic, right? We'll go to other two things. The first one, you'll look at the soluble transferrin receptor. Right? Then we'll go to your RBC protoporphyrin as well. So what happens is, we have to understand what is a transfer receptor, then what is a soluble transfer receptor. So transfer receptor will be then an erythroid. Because the function of transfer receptor is to, they will have circulating transferrin with ion molecules, the erythroid will have the receptor, where the transfer will come and bind to it, it will be internalized, and I'll, my ion will be utilized for hemoglobin production. This is normal. Let's assume that I'm having very less serum ion. That's iron deficiency anemia, right? I'm having erythroid here. In the erythroid, normally let's keep it a thing that's saying that I'll have uh, five receptors and my body thinks that, okay, these five receptors are not able to bind iron. So will I have a confusion that it's because of the less number of receptors, iron is not coming inside, right? So as a feedback mechanism, what my body does is it will increase the number of receptors. Normally if it is five, let's, I'm just giving for an example, let's say this erythroid will have six or seven or eight or nine or 10. There'll be more number of receptors here. When I have more number of receptors surrounding, waiting for any tiny drop of iron in the serum to transfer into bind with, what happens is the amount of receptors will be more. So when it's more, the broken fragment of that is a soluble transfer receptor that also will be elevated. So soluble transfer receptor tells you the state of iron in the body. If iron is less, transfer receptor elevates, hoping that it will bind to a good enough transferrin so that it can do it. Because whatever transferrin it will bind will not have iron, it will be recycled and go up again. Recycled and go up again because it's failing again and again and again. So there will be more receptors on the surface, right? So soluble transfer receptor will be elevated in case of an iron deficiency anemia or in any condition where the serum iron will be less, fine? The next one is RBC protoporphyrin, the simple one. In a heme synthesis, protoporphyrin is an intermediate. You must have read about in your porphyrias in detail about this, right? So without iron, my heme synthesis is not complete. So it's not complete. I'm already saying that precursor will be more. I don't have a mature hemoglobin because iron is not available. So the precursors will be more and the precursor is protoporphyrin. So RBC protoporphyrin, it's called as free erythrocyte protoporphyrin to be specific. The free erythrocyte protoporphyrin will definitely be less. It's like a simple substrate enzyme deficiency, right? The output 
is not coming so the output is not coming due to some problem ion is not there so what happens the precursor thing keeps on accumulating so my protoporphyrin becomes elevated right that's with this question so very simple question answer is your transfer and saturation right download the an academy app and we have planned special classes for your fmg preparation innocent as well as neat pg all of them will be free for you follow me at ranjit at, or at pathogaps and we'll definitely clear out our concepts and hopefully we'll give the next exam in flying colors fine and as i said that in the start of the uh, video all the 22 questions of pathology will be discussed in individual videos with the title as the question so that you can watch whatever you question you want an extra force on fine thank you for your time see you soon in another video till then bye bye from dr anjit if you have any doubts regarding this or any other thing do comment below i'll be more than happy to get your questions and answer them as well fine see you bye bye